So if you actually look at under many worlds into the entire history of the universe, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks very deterministic. Yes. In each moment, does the moment contain the memory of the entire history of the universe? To you, does the moment contain the memory of everything that preceded it? As far as we know, so according to many worlds, the wave function of the universe, all the branches of the universe at once, all the worlds, does contain all the information. Calling it a memory is a little bit um, dangerous because it's not the same kind of memory that you and I have in our brains because our memories rely on the arrow of time. And the whole point of the Schrodinger equation or Newton's laws is they don't have an arrow of time built in. They're reversible. The state of the universe not only remembers where it came from, but also determines where it's going to go in a way that our memories don't do that. But our memories, we can do replay. Can you do this? We can, but the act of forming a memory increases the entropy of the universe. It is an irreversible process also, right? You can walk on a beach and leave your footprints there. That's a record of your passing. Uh, it will eventually be erased by the ever-increasing entropy of the universe. Well, but you can imperfectly replay it. I yeah. guess, can we return, travel back in time imperfectly? Oh, um, it depends on the level of precision you're trying to ask that question. You know, the universe contains the information about where the universe was, but you and I don't. We're nowhere close. And it's what computationally very costly to try to consult the universe? Well, it depends on, again, exactly what you're asking. Like, there are some simple questions, like what was the temperature of the universe 30 <laughs> seconds after the Big Bang? We can answer that, right? That's kind of amazing that we can answer that to pretty high precision. But if you want to know where every atom was, then no. What to you is the Big Bang? Why, why did it... Why? Why did it happen? We have what? no idea. I, I think that that's, that's a super important question that I can imagine making progress on. But right now, I'm more or less maximally uncertain about what the answer is. You think black holes will help? No. Potentially? Not, no. That, not that much. Um, quantum gravity will help, and maybe black holes will help us figure out quantum gravity, so indirectly, mm -hmm. yes. But we have the situation where General relativity, Einstein's theory, unambiguously predicts there was a singularity in the past. There was a moment of time when the universe had infinite curvature, infinite energy, infinite expansion rate, the whole bit. That's just a fancy way of saying the theory has broken down and classical general relativity is not up to the task of what's saying what really happened at that moment. So it is completely possible there was, in some sense, a moment of time before which there were no other moments. And that would be the Big Bang. Even if it's not a classical general relativity kind of thing, even if quantum mechanics is involved, maybe that's what happened. It's also completely possible there was time before that, space and time, and they evolved into our hot Big Bang by some procedure that we don't really understand. And if time and space are emergent, then the before even starts getting, uh, getting real weird. Well, I think that if there is a first moment of time, that would be very good evidence, or that would fit hand in glove with the idea that time is emergent. If time is fundamental, then it tends to go forever, <laughs> because it's fundamental. 